Hello and welcome to Europass Talks. Um, let's wait a little bit that people will uh, connect with us. How are you? As, uh, how good? After we are leaving a moment okay. which is very challenging for everybody, but also uh, it's a transformation as well that we are uh, facing. So my name is Alex Pampo and I'm a teacher training director in Barcelona, in Spain. Hopefully uh, this half an hour that we spent, that we spent together, we will um, see some education, education and technological tools to work together with our students in the classroom. Of course, uh, this is a presentation for our course, which is a live course, which begin uh, at the end of month which you can find on Teacher Training Academy uh, on our website as well, teacheracademy.eu Europe. Uh, you can find uh, uh, different uh, courses. And my course in particular will explore education and innovation, technology and uh, activities that are important to grow a new mindset for our students. So I hope you uh, are well and uh, let's start together, okay? So first of all, we will see, uh, an, we will take an approach to innovation, which is very important to understand why we are innovating in our classroom, you know, in our schools, why we bring innovation. We need to, it's a medium long term process, of course, it's not something that happened tomorrow. But also, it's important to understand to uh, understand that we need to uh, um, embrace this moment because technology, at the end of the day, for uh, primary school, for secondary school, even university or adult centers, are um, important today. So we need to approach uh, innovation in a in a good way, basically, with a positive interaction with a positive mindset and work together in a new beginning of the education era as well you know for the next future we will see some trends as well and also we will see we will touch a little bit what we're talking about in the, um, in a, my course which is create a, a, a successful classroom using edu, edu tech tools educational uh, and technology tools and um, Basically, we will see also some uh, theory at the moment. Uh, then we will see some practical exercise too, okay? So uh, I will share my screen with you right now. So you tell me if it works. And then after, we will be happy to even answer to your comments. Can you see my, my screen now? Okay, so okay. let's see together some tools that works for us, okay? So I prepare this slide as well, which I will introduce to you four ways to foster innovation in the classroom and in the school. So as I said before, we need to prepare our uh, classrooms or students and also the school in a, a sort of collaboration with other teachers and uh, the director as well and uh, parents. So we need to uh, embrace the culture of innovation in our uh, classrooms. So we, we are talking about uh, bringing innovation, which is uh, very important to implement uh, the activities in the classroom, the, uh, the knowledge, and also the learning process, yes? It's very important in education as well that uh, we experiment, we let our student, students express themselves. So this is why it's very important to use technology, but I will add a new word as well, which is using a hybrid methods, which are not only online or technology, but using even activities which are experimental, but also uh, making uh, our classroom work with their hands, 
with their uh, movement, active learning, and so on. So we need to prepare our classroom as well to uh, understand that uh, it's very important uh, bringing technology, but also work with not technology tools, not technological tools, you know? So it's very important, as I said before, for school leaders as well, to understand that there is an interaction in innovation. Interaction means as well, which uh, we need to work effectively and more efficiently as well, you know, with our uh, um, with our colleagues and also with the students, you know. So that's very important to focus on this because is uh, innovation is a cultural innovation in the classroom and in uh, in the schools means as well sharing the information, work together, and having spaces or physical spaces or. Uh, some meetings to uh, share best practice and work together into these uh, uh, fields, you know. So let's see the four elements related to uh, having a meaningful, in, a meaningful, a meaningful uh, innovation in the classroom and in the school. Uh, it's very important to understand, um, let's say, some, uh, some uh, um, uh, four activities that helps as well uh, the students to work together in this uh, cycle. So first of all, we need to understand R&D. R&D means as well a research and development. What does it mean? This we need to create a space or uh, an, uh, with our with our especially with our teachers and uh, with our director an idea to having uh, some sort of budget to invest uh, in innovation. Why? Because we will see a lot of software after uh, in this half an hour. I cannot show all of them because in measure only on iTunes uh, for Apple Store or Google Play, there are 3 million of apps, which is maybe 500,000 or uh, more are for education. Uh, so there is a lot of edutech tools to work. You know, We need to understand which one is best and which one we can uh, uh, organize for different activities in our classroom in a regular basis. That's very important. This is very important. In a regular basis, because if we create, for example, some uh, a web radio in the classroom, we create a magazine, we can create a bookmark, so we can use Google uh, um, Cardboard to uh, making uh, uh, some uh, immersive uh, uh, videos is very important to having a minimum budget required. Also this we need to understand, we need to adapt to the situation. That's very important. Why? Because sometimes there is no budget in school. So we need to understand how can we fundraise or find the best way to adapt uh, uh, to different situation, basically. Sometimes it uh, happen that we work for uh, some um, low budget school and uh, and when we work together uh, as a consultancy as well, basically uh, some teachers, uh, we try to find a way uh, to share the, the, uh, the, the, uh, the tools, the gear that we have in the classroom, like a video projector, a, a smart board or a computers or mobile phone or other mobile devices, you know? So creating a ready budget, supporting the team, learning opportunities, the second, uh, steps why supporting the team learning opportunities why because we need to understand that it's very important to create this space you know create this space what does it mean it means as well uh maximize the opportunity for the team to learn from each other yes that's very important back to the our slide as well we need to understand that the world of digital culture uh, helps as well uh, the evolutionary process is very profound i mean as i said before it's not from one day to another, but it's a medium long term uh, result. So once we introducing uh, uh, technology in a certain level, in a regular basis, means, uh, for example, if we do a podcast in the classroom, a radio, or if we do a magazine again, uh, using these tools in a regular basis help as well the learning process of our students to increase in a medium long term, of course, because it helps to, uh, uh, to um, uh, explore and develop a new mindset for uh, critical thinking and uh, all the new approach that are problem solving, um, sense of responsibility and uh, solutions, find solution and so on, you know? So creative expression as well, we say help the, the, the children articulate, uh, articulate their feeling 
and, and thought as well, uh, help them, uh, of course, to understand, uh, uh, encourage them into the exploration and discovery. Uh, exploration about uh, discover more imagination using more creativity as well in the classroom. That's very important, again, because we need to let our students express themselves. So creative expression, very important, okay? So we move to the third point, which is a creating opportunity for exchange between learning communities as well. As I say, a space maybe in the school uh, dedicated to innovation, a proper space. It can be um, a digital space, a physical space, or um, regular meetings with your uh, colleagues as well, very important. And innovation with a shared vision. Again, a cooperation. We, are, we enter the era of co cooperation, community, cohesion, coexist, coexistence, cooperation, uh, connecting, and so on. So it's very important co as a as a collaborating as well with our students, with our uh, with, with our colleagues, with the parents, and uh, the director as well, and the local communities to work together in these fields, you know? So please, when you start to introduce innovation in your school as a teacher or in your classroom, just keep in mind to talk with all your uh, um, uh, people that are interesting uh, in, the, in the, the debate, parents again, colleagues, and so on, you know? So this is more or less is just a, a quick review of uh, the quick theory of uh, what we are uh, going to do some tutorials now. But before getting into tutorials, let's see some of the, let's say again, some of the attitude, like invisible skills, or uh, let's say something that is, uh, is not touchable, is not a physic, but uh, attitude that teachers need to uh, as, uh, bring innovation in the classroom. So you need to prepare yourself first. I mean, the first question is, what do you do every day to bring innovation in the classroom. So what I do every day to bring innovation in the classroom, to bring games, bring uh, uh, apps uh, using technology to with some software to cooperate uh, with the students uh, or to make some project-based learn and so on. We need to understand this first, you know? But also on the, on the other hand, we need to understand our attitude. So our psychology, psychologist, uh, uh, let's say mindset, you know? So one of these is very important is some keywords. Just I just wrote here. Uh, we can up, uh, we can add many more, but some of that those are inspiration. You know, so be ins inspire your students as well. You know, uh, be inspired yourself too by nature, by the day everyday life, etc. Be you know, using uh, bringing enthusiasm as well is very important. Teachers are stressed today, unfortunately. Yes, but at the same time, we need to uh, realize that we have to bring uh, in the classroom with innovation, we need those, uh, uh, let's say, invisible um, attitudes, you know? So enthusiasm is very important. Intention, having an intention two times is very important, a will. If you don't have a will to bring innovation and technology in the classroom, maybe this course is not for you or technology is not for you. But at the end of the day, the digital agenda is on the national curriculum. So we need to adapt to this situation. So intention and will, very important. Showing determination also very important. Why? Because determination helps as well ourselves and, uh, and, uh, and the environment around us to uh, work on resilience, but also to work uh, on some uh, experimental tools. Then maybe the first video, for example, or if we create a video, if we create an episode of a podcast, or if we create a, a magazine, maybe this uh, determination uh, you can fail the first time, and maybe making the first, the second, the third time, it works. To you find a way with your students to work together with those tools, and then having a more positive environment, etc. Acceptance. What we got, you know, maybe we have one computer every five students. Okay, let's let's accept this. And let's try to find a solution instead to say. Uh, okay, there is a pro cons on technology. Our classroom, for example, is uh, doesn't have a lot of technology and we need to improve and so on. So acceptance is very important. Gratitude, important too, uh, of course, because we need to be, uh, gratitude is we be more uh, a light uh, uh, version of ourselves. Be spontaneous as well, because we need to go back to spontaneity. 
spontaneously. Spontaneously, like kids are spontaneously, and we need to go back to, to be spontaneous, you know, like uh, in the kindergarten or in the primary school or secondary school. And the last but not least of many keywords that we can use, flow, you know, flowing. Flowing means as well, uh, let it go, let it flow and uh, keep uh, the sights the moment and uh, live uh, the moment once you are uh, in the classroom with your students. And then let's move to the, uh, before we get into some, uh, some tools to use for edutech tools, let's, let's see the pyramid as well of learning, which is very important. You will see here that only 5% on the top of the pyramid is on lecture. So we use books, which is important, but then is raising on 10% more once we reading, is raising on 20% more once we use audiovisuals, so video, uh, audio, uh, like uh, making a podcast, as I said before, a web radio in the classroom with some apps that we, we show later on, and so on. So all audiovisual, the eyes come first. So the first things to come is the eyes, you know, so it's very important. Demonstration as well. Why? Demonstration is a raising on 30% because once we having a proof, we have a proof of that episode of history, that episode on mathematics, that exercise on mathematics, that uh, activity on science or uh, other kind of proof uh, showing uh, very important the demonstration showing is, is a big, big increasing into the learning process of our students. Also discussion group, look, is going to 50%, very, very important because we create a cooperation, we create a project-based learn, we create a, a problem-based learning and many other tools, flipped classroom and so on, for a discussion group, 50%, you know? We jump to 75% by practicing, do a practice by doing, very important. Doing is what is doing, is the action. Action means as well doing practical exercises, even if you use technology, but we work together with our students uh, uh, in groups, maybe in five groups of five, if you have 20, uh, 25 students, four groups of five, if you have 20 students, or divide the classroom in two parts, but very important, the, the learning process is raising up to 75% when we are practicing making videos, making uh, activities, uh, making actions, you know, uh, research materials, find materials, research um, information, in the internet, outside the school, in the school, and so on. is raising 90% when you, or students, teacher each other. So self-instruction back to the new trends of, the, of, this, of the next three years to come, you know, express, let your students express them, themselves, we say, but also teaching the others means that you teach your students, you let them understand that uh, there is a problem to solve and they gonna find a way to experiment with some tools and uh, find the right solution when we discuss between each other and find a solution, Eureka, <laughs> let's say. So 90%, can you imagine? All this pyramid is very important that we can integrate all of them, of course. We, we as not is impossible to, to separate all of them. We can use separate, yes, but we need to integrate uh, all of them together. Yes, very important because at the end of the day, we can uh, having uh, our classroom uh, showing interest and see results as well, you know, very important. So first of all, I want to show you um, when uh, we're working uh, with some uh, EdTech tools, I mean, I can show you, as I say before, many more than 350, but we have only half an hour, so uh, it's impossible to show all of them, you know. Uh, some of this, for example, uh, I can show some of this. We can start to work together. Is, uh, for example, an interesting point of view, uh, which I want to share with you, is experiment with Google. Experiment with Google. So you can find some resources here, which are very interesting. You can click on some of this very nice experiment to increase in your students the way that they learn and also make experiment in some uh, activities. For example, these experiment tools, I just choose this. I can start to play. I, I can show uh, different sounds here, piano, marimba, whatever. But also, I can uh, use my body, 
behind, you know? My body, which means as well, is tracking my body, you see? So that's just an example of uh, creating Google experiments with Google, which other teachers, other people uh, upload online as a challenging uh, to use the technology uh, on uh, uh, interaction as well, on, 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 uh, on the idea to develop creativity. At the end of the day, the first principles, which are very important, even on, uh, we see today uh, Elon Musk, uh, the uh, many uh, like Steve Jobs and so on, uh, they using the first principle, which means as well, uh, develop an idea uh, by uh, a unique idea, basically, yes? So we need to stimulate our students to become the leaders of tomorrow, but also to become a creator of their life, of their career, or their environment, you know? So that's very important to stimulate, even with music or some arts process exercises, which doesn't matter which subject we teach, it, physical education, mathematics and um, uh, history etc uh, you have the right apps yes but also uh, using uh, some of uh, um, arts experiments or uh, technology online etc helps as well the students to uh, trust making some um, transversal uh, thinking thinking critical thinking you know so very important to understand this for example, as well, let's see today, for example, uh, one example, Kaggle, for example, to create uh, uh, some uh, um, mind maps, you know? So whenever I show you some of these uh, tools, there are a other maybe five, six different, which are basically alternatives, yes? For example, there is Kaggle, which create uh, um, simple collaboration, uh, mind maps to create an idea, to write a movie, maybe a movie or project, or some other uh, um, things that uh, maybe is interesting uh, uh, for the for your subject or topics. You know, so you can create. You see, some slides, uh, some uh, uh, arrows like this. You can change the color with the right hand click. You can add a link, maybe, maybe I go to YouTube, for example, and search for. Biology, for example, biology. I just take one video, just jump the, just copy this link. So biology, I'm going back to my Kaggle here and just paste, copy and paste, yes? Click outside, you have the video. It's good for a research maybe, you know, maybe to write, you know, and it's, and, uh, some uh, uh, brainstorming ideas, you know? changing the colors, you can move this around, you can move these uh, arrows around, which are very interesting, you see? So you, we can, you can even divide it, you see? You can create as many as you want. You can add a link, a video, pictures, maybe, you know, many other things that maybe result to you that are useful for your topics or subject. Maybe you study biology, maybe you study in this point, uh, Romeo and Juliet and so on, you see? and then you can create your own uh, contents on this. Of course, on my course on um, uh, create, um, using uh, EdTech tools, uh, we will practice a lot on this, uh, on some software. Now it's just a, a little introduction to some software. So we're talking about uh, uh, experiment uh, uh, with Google, which is very interesting to use uh, uh, arts as a main part to work, uh, to open a creativity and uh, um, open mind uh, um, before, during, or after studying a subject. That's very important, using these terms, before, during, and after, because sometimes we can use the technology before studying a topic, during, or after, or maybe in three times, you know, before, during, and after, you know. The important thing is that uh, uh, we need to use technology in a, in a way that uh, is a help help our students to know better, to synthesize, very important, to have a synthesis. Synthesis is very important because technology help as well to make a research, to show, maybe you can print this, you see, and then also to show what they've done it as well, and but also uh, work in a hybrid way. Te technology with no technology. I mean, some of these mind maps or um, uh, Simply Minds, which is another app, Simply Minds, Simply Minds app, 
it reminds up simple minds up you can see uh, there is a similar to kaggle.it but create as well my brain maps my maps uh, concept maps which is very important and useful for uh, our students you know to work together in uh, some again to synthesize um, or to make a synthesis of the first world war maybe of the cellular and so on so you can share this as well you can download you download this a pdf as a jpeg here also you can invite other students or parents or other teachers to the project you know write down an email and send to them you know and it's very interesting as well on this side, also very important, we have a discussion point, a time machine of what we've done in the previous moments and a discussion point. Discussion point which everybody are connected to this um, diagram and then everybody write down maybe a comment or something that uh, results and attach a file maybe, even if we, you work remotely, you know? I can say hello here and send you see so add some uh, information and so on so that's very important Kaggle mind maps and all what is concept maps in apps in telephones mobile devices uh, like uh, iPads or smart board or um, even on computers or laptops uh, creating some uh, cooperation uh, activities you know to learning cooperation you know learning cooperative very important Let's see another tools, for example, which is Canva. Maybe you know already, uh, there is other tools which are similar to Canva, which is Bansi, for example. Bansi is very interesting because you can create your own way to see the world. That's the, that's the goal at the end of the day. At the end of the day is the goal to using the technology or games, what are a message behind? What is this message? The message is we want a feedback from our students we want they, they learn in a better way. They, they really understand what they, what they study and also aiming fun. Uh, students want to have fun. We want to stay more in a positive environment. So working with technology help, uh, technology help us. I mean, it's a win-win formula at the end of the day, you know? Another tool is, uh, uh, with, sorry, with Canva, uh, Bouncy to create some, uh, as I show you uh, now on the video here, I don't, I don't want to log in because we don't take time, but you, as you can see, you can create uh, uh, some uh, stunning graphics and very interesting uh, tools, you know, to work together uh, with the students, you know, uh, add images, export, presentation, etc. So it's something more than a video, it's kind of animation, integrating audio, video, um, images and text and photos and so on, you know. The, the friend of Bouncy is Canva as well. Canva, the, the, the brand is design anything because really we can design anything. We can design a magazine with our students maybe, you know? A magazine, a teenager magazine, a magazine cover. And also it's very easy to use. Once we click on this, we can change the images, you know? We can ch change images. We can choose some templates. We can add a text here. We can add upload some documents and so on. So you see, so very, all of these apps are very sim sim very simple simple to use you know Sim very simple i take off these images i will put another images and so on you know so very interesting to use uh, another creative tools to work as a bookmark uh, for a research with our students is a simbaloo simbaloo we create some tiles like this you see like educational you can create as many as you want once you log in and you can create uh, some tiles which uh, give you direct access to links, basically, you see? So it's a visual bookmark. It's a visual bookmarks. So it works very well because for a research, maybe in bi biology or in mathematics or in uh, history or whatever, uh, you can create uh, uh, different uh, uh, tiles. You can create as many as you want as well. And also it can be shareable, this one, with other students, so a cooperation, you know? You can move this around, you see? The tiles simply uh, using uh, using a symbol uh, is very is simple because you just need to add a link directly to the tiles and copy and paste the links that you want. For example, I want Edmodo. You copy again. You go here. You click on a side, and then you see the appear this, and then you just paste here Edmodo, and then you just upload. 
You see, at the model now is here, the logo. Very easy. So you can have something like this, you know, created by uh, areas, you know. Another interesting tool, apart from Bouncy, we see Canva, we see Kaggle, we see also experiment with Google. We go back to organizing classroom with Miro. I love Miro, it's very interesting, Miro, because you can create uh, some stories or some online, uh, let's say, um, projects. Also, you can use in your classroom some uh, uh, piece of paper to stick on the wall as well, etc. But Miro helps as well to create a different project. It's different from Kaggle because you have having different schemes which you can use. You know, it depends what you want to create, want to what you want to create. You know, you can use a storyboard like this, or maybe you can create uh, something like uh, some uh, um, some cells, some cells uh, to organizing with your students. See, like this, add you can use this as a cells which are quite interesting you see participle four and so on share again share share with social media very interesting you know so some tools which helps as well the classroom to better understand uh what they are uh, what they are um, doing basically and uh, monitoring as well those activities you know like with the miro you know so very very interesting miro to work with your students and exploring creativity, express themselves and so on. There, I repeat, there is many apps. Basically, um, I, in my course, I will divide uh, those apps in different fields, like audiovisual for music, uh, to, uh, to experiment, to stimulate the brain for music, uh, to uh, blogging, social media, or uh, any other, um, uh, any other uh, information like this, you see? Uh, I will divide by podcasting, presentation, photo editing, physical education, productive science, mathematics, and so on, you know, uh, technology, not technology, uh, language, and so on, you know, so, and then for each of them, you will see the, the scheme, but I repeat, half an hour is not uh, <laughs> impossible, you know, to see all these words which need to be explored because it creates an environment of uh, uh, really, um, uh, enjoyable as well uh, uh, moments with your students and develop as well a uh, new mindset which uh, the students uh, auto assess themselves and uh, find uh, the way to cooperate together develop even life skills you know so another uh, edu tool for edu educational tool for teachers is uh, floop floop basically helps uh, you that's for teacher not for students but it's quite interesting because basically helps uh, the teachers to receive the material. You see, they just scan their, they just scan their uh, assessment or maybe some uh, works. And you can write just real time on a side. Maybe works with the parents too. You know, and maybe you can write directly on the piece of paper on, on the scan piece of paper which previously your students. Uh, sent to you as a photo, so it's quite interesting. Floop Edu, you know, so it's quite interesting to use it. You know, another one interesting is Sutori, very interesting for social study, for mathematics, for many other things. You know, that's an example. There's an example how to use Sutori, which basically works again uh, to create uh, like um, uh, pages which you can add the text, the videos, images and publish online, you know, these researches. So it's quite interesting because uh, there is a lot of solution for schools, for teachers, uh, also for business, you know. This is some reviews here. Let me see if I find you uh, some videos, you know. Uh, if I go to YouTube, for example, I show you, I cannot log in to show you all the project because again, we don't have much time. Sutori, uh, tutorials. Tutorial, Sutori. There's a lot of examples, you know. Autori, sorry, Sutori. Autori is Italian. Sutori. Sutori. Okay. So, Sutori, for example, again, you see? You see, you can create many. That's from Sutori website. You can create many projects, adding maybe a research for the geography, biology, and so on. You can add the questions. 
they create a timeline, an interesting timeline, you see, with images, questioning, and many other things, videos to load, and you can integrate other uh, other uh, software like uh, Edpuzzle, YouTube, and so on, you know? You can move these assignments. I repeat, please, these tools are for students, but also uh, for teachers, but uh, teachers must understand how it works a little bit and then let your students express themselves. That's very important, you know? Let the students express themselves because at the end of the day, when we write something, it's very important project or cooperating so on that your students they understand what they are doing you know uh, that's the best way actually to uh, show um, a way to uh, auto uh, knowledge as well we see storyboard storyboard as well is quite interesting or write reader write reader open up to poetry why we need poetry you say maybe mathematics or uh, uh, in other fields, because poetry open up to beauty. We need beauty because beauty save our lives, like music and so on, and open up our brain as well, to thinking about uh, maybe a solution that uh, sometimes we don't uh, uh, maybe understand on a piece of paper, but maybe we understand better with a video, with a story to tell, with some other uh, tools. I mean, again, there is many tools, like Storybird, for example, and mini books. Your students can create mini books, which is quite interesting as well. And those mini books are related to uh, any subject, you know, any topics, any subject, any topics. And uh, students, uh, they create their story, but also they can find, you know, the way uh, can attach some text, can attach some um, videos, and so on. Again, if I go to YouTube, I say story, story bird, story bird tutorials. You know, for example, you can see a lot of this information. You know, story bird tutorials, and uh, as as well, is a way that uh, that that is quite interesting. Oh, that's in Italian. Sorry, I see another one. So again, it's like uh, many other apps allows you see to add information which makes our students more uh, lesson more fun more interesting using before during and after a subject but also but also it's very important uh, to work uh, uh, together with your students in a regular basis i mean again innovation is not something that happened tomorrow it's something is a uh, is a medium uh, long term process again and also uh, you need to reply, uh, uh, repeat, sorry, this uh, information. Uh, there is no point you create maybe one video every six months, you know. You never see results in your students' uh, learning process. You need to use in a regular basis. And please, let your students express themselves sometimes. You don't need to be a master in uh, video making or, or whatever. You just need to let your, uh, show to your students guidelines, uh, leader, teacher as a leader, a lead, teacher as a mentor, teacher as a coach, and uh, show them the way and let them express themselves with this tool. They will love to use, as especially with Canva, uh, as I showed you before, Kaggle, Mindsets, uh, to create a new uh, mind maps, or Simbalu to create the visual bookmarks, and many other, um, like uh, Miro, Bouncy, Animoto to make videos, very interesting. Animoto.com to create nice, simply dynamic videos. Uh, experiment with Google is just an example. And uh, some many other apps that uh, will help as well to increase the level of your students and work together um, with a, a new way to uh, to, uh, to use imagination because imagination is very important. I will, uh, in my course as well, uh, we have uh, some free images and video to download because we need to use maybe to understand, to use this tool, we need to download free images, etc. So it's very important. And uh, again, as I said before, exploring, expressing uh, uh, students and also let them express, but also let them to understand how important it is to create, create visual storytelling, you know, like a li little videos like this. 
uh, with Powtoons. Powtoons is this video to create, you know, some animated video for uh, uh, to create innovation in the classroom. But also, again, we say experiment, imagination, creativity, and imagination. Imagination leads us to find solution, leads us to find another way, to find a unique way, you know, to design their own center, the students. So it's very important to understand this, you know. So these Powtoons as well is another app which is quite interesting to use. And uh, using as well uh, most of constructional, let's say, constructional experience with our students, not only transformative, but constructional experience, you know, so which is quite interesting uh, to work uh, with your stu uh, students in a new way. I repeat, don't be afraid on technology because technology only help us to facilitate our daily life and to uh, and to work together with, with our students in a more positive environment. So uh, unfortunately, half an hour, uh, I cannot say you a lot of things, but I uh, hope that uh, this overview, this introduction is helpful to see my course in uh, Teach Success uh, Edu Tools, with, um, uh, Creative Edu Tools to Teach Successfully in the classroom. Uh, ready for the end of the month in uh, in uh, Europass uh, in Europass talks. So, if there is uh, any questions, please just um, just type on uh, on the comments. I will read for you. But time is uh, time is killing us, <laughs> so it's quite. Uh, uh, we need to expand our time actually. So, this is another suggestion. In innovation, we don't need to rush actually uh, now because we have a frame of half an hour. But then uh, you need to understand um, how it works in uh, uh, to to monitoring your time, you know, with your students, and maybe on Friday afternoon or Monday morning, and so on. Use some tech tools to introduce a topics, you know, to introduce a discussion, and so on, or maybe create a project, you know, around those information. Let me see. Can we have a list of these tools? Yes. Maybe uh, we'll send by Europass. will send you. So I forgot to say as well, using uh, some glasses as well, because uh, some, uh, not some glasses, some glasses <laughs> related to uh, using for uh, using your telephone as well to using technology. I mean, there is many, 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 more than 350. So all we're talking about in my course and also uh, working on divergent thinking and build up a cultural innovation in our school. I hope you to see you soon in my course and uh, in Barcelona. So um, see you next uh, talk, okay? Thank you very much, having a great afternoon. Thank you very much.